So this is uh, Alexander Misko, I don't know if I pronounced your yeah, name right. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, hey guys, nice to, nice to see you here. Hi yeah. Steve. Good to have you at Changsha. Yeah. Um, just a few questions. Um, I think what people would like to know is how did you get into the guitar? And more importantly, how did you develop such an interesting way of playing the guitar? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I think I, I just got into this modern style of playing. It's called finger style, by the way. Uh, quite accidentally, because I was um, playing classical guitar for three years, just like practicing with uh, my private tutor, so it wasn't nothing serious. I don't have like musical education or whatever. Uh, and then I ac accidentally got to listen to some Don Ross music. It's Don Ross is one of the biggest Canadian style guitarists in the world, and the music uh, got me hooked instantly. And I'm still in love with uh, all this genre of this style of music because of the music that people actually write within it. And uh, that's why I feel, I feel so good when I can express my feelings uh, as a composer, not only as an arranger or cover artist. So you do both, you, uh, you arrange um, songs for acoustic guitar and you write your own pieces? Yeah, I would say I, I arrange songs for YouTube. <laughs> it's a different thing because like, I, I don't really, I'm, I'm not a fan of all those artists that I arrange, it's just like it's fun to do and people seem to like it so I'm happy with it. But I have always been composing. I have uh, two albums of original material. Now I'm uh, gonna release the third one, hopefully in November. So I have always been doing original music all along. So uh, it's it's part of me. Great, great. And you mentioned uh, one of your influences with uh, the acoustic guitar. What other influences do you have musically? Well, it depends on what period we we're talking about. Because like when when I was studying finger style a lot, when I was just to understand how it, how it works, I used to play like hundreds of songs by different fingerstyle guitarists and my favorite uh, like inspirations and heroes. So most of their autographs are here on the back of the guitar. And some of them are Don Ross, uh, John Gaum, Mike Dawes, Thomas Lee, Preston Reed and many others. But um, now I don't listen to guitar music at all because like, I'm totally fed up with my own stuff. So uh, I, I'm more into metal, into avant-garde music, into electronic music, like Future Garage, drum and bass, liquid drum and bass, whatever. And in metal genres, I can go, I can go into very deep and weird things. So I wouldn't, wouldn't name names here. It's a very heavy, it's very kind of. It's totally heavy, yeah. Great. That sounds very different to the kind of stuff that you're playing. I, I think that it's very important to listen to different stuff, and uh, it means that you can find inspiration in all of those things and then you can unexpectedly combine them into your acoustic music to create your own style and approach. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's why you never should focus on only on one genre or one artist because you don't want to be a clone of something else, somebody else. That's good. Okay, uh, one other question. What projects are you doing at the moment? Uh, my projects is, uh, are, are there, there are not so many projects actually, it's like Alexander Misko, that's the only project, but it's never been a project, it's just like me doing music and uh, I'm happy and grateful to everybody who supports me in my way and have been supporting me actually. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm recording my third album at the moment and uh, with all the songs that I actually play in uh, my concerts mm -hmm. for, me for, for a long time, but I just got to record it now because I never got to do that late, uh, earlier because of touring. And uh, yeah, I think that's the only project that I have time to do because like it's, it takes lots of energy and I want to, and I know that it's, it's very important to be focused only on one thing. Mm -hmm. It means that you can, you can really do great in it if you put all your time and thoughts and efforts into one thing. So I would love to start a metal band one day, but maybe, maybe not, not in, the, in the meantime. Great, great. And if people want to find uh, your album, where should they go? Uh, I have a website, I have uh, all the links in my social network, so it's just Alexander Misko. I think Misko Guitar should be even easier to find, like an M-I-S-K-O. Uh, and yeah, I'm available on all the social networks, not only for uh, uh, getting, uh, getting uh, acquainted to my, uh, with my music, but also just if, if you want to chat with me or if you want to ask any questions, I'm 
I'm online all the time, so I'm trying to reply to everybody. Great. Thank you very much, Alex. Yeah, thanks a lot. That was a good question.